Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. This video will cover disorders of epidermal maturation, and uh, these are the references for this video. In the classification schemes of the skin disorders, the ichthyosis is considered under the head of diseases of the epidermis. There are many disorders that are labeled under the term of uh, disorders of uh, meta of uh, epidermal maturation and uh, one of these is ichthyosis ichthyosis is derived from the greek word ichthyes that means fishy so this group of inherited disorder some of these are also acquired also but uh, this is a group of inherited disorder that is associated with chronic excessive keratin formation that result in hyperkeratosis or uh, morphologically on the skin it results in fish like scale formation or in other word you can say that this is a group of hereditary disorder of keratinization with a different pattern of inheritance and genetic defects some of which are known and uh, one example is transglutaminase that uh, this mutation result this mutation that is uh, 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 that is that result in ichthyosis is this uh, transglutaminase is actually a structural protein of keratinocytes it is inherited by autosomal dominant autosomal recessive or x-linked ichthyosis and there is one another uh, acquired variety of the ichthyosis also the autosomal dominant is the commonest hence it is termed ichthyosis vulgaris the Autosomal recessive are congenital, congenital ichthyosiform erythroderma and lamellar ichthyosis. The acquired one, acquired ichthyosis also result in ichthyosis vulgaris. The autosomal inherited are most apparent at or around the time of the birth. The acquired variety of this ichthyosis is associated with abnormal lipid metabolism, lymphoid and visceral malignancies. So this picture, this gross picture is showing the prominent fish like scales that are present on the uh, acral part of the body and these are present on the uh, flexor surface as well as on the extensor surface of the uh, on the extremities but uh, the palms and hands are speared then uh, this is the closer picture which is showing that uh, this is the fish like uh, fish scale like prominent fish scale like appearance and uh, this uh, stratum and this is due to compacted thickened stratum corneum So there are three processes that are involved in the pathogenesis of ichthyosis. One is the increased cohesiveness. In the stratum corneum, the cells are uh, they are cohesive in nature, and this is due to due to altered lipid metabolism. Then this abnormal keratinization is due to impairment in the formation of the tonofilament and keratohyaline synthesis. As a result and uh, there is excessive cornification then increased basal cell proliferation is also there and this increased basal cell uh, proliferation is associated with decrease in uh, maturation time or transit time of the keratinocyte through the or towards the upper layer So ichthyosis is characterized by defective desquamation that results in retention of abnormally formed scale. The proadhesive cholesterol sulfate is present basically in the intercellular spaces. And uh, there is an enzyme that is steroid sulfate, uh, sulfatase and this steroid sulfatase is responsible for the uh, removal of this uh, proadhesive cholesterol that is present in the of cholesterol sulfate that is present in the intracellular spaces when this enzyme synthesis defective or the gene that is encoding this enzyme is defective it is not going to remove this proadhesive cholesterol so it tends to accumulate 
within these intercellular spaces and accumulation of uh, these pro-adhesive cholesterol sulfates, sulfates will result in persistent cell-to-cell -cell adhesion within the stratum corneum. And this will result morphologically as uh, these fish-like scales or ichthyosis and histologically the stratum corneum is compact with loss of the basket weave appearance of the stratum corneum. This photomicrograph is more clear and it is showing that the upper layer that is the stratum corneum is compact and uh, the normal basket weave appearance is lost and uh, there is no or little inflammation present. This picture is of a uh, normal uh, skin just to compare that of the, the normal uh, basket weave appearance of the stratum cornea. Here in this uh, disease state ichthyosis it is lost. There are many types of the ichthyosis that are uh, on the basis of thickness of the epidermis and stratum granulosum, gross appearance or distribution of the disease. So all diseases that uh, are characterized by thickening of the nucleated epidermal layers also exhibit hyperkeratosis such as in ly lichen simplex chronicus that is due to chronic scratching or rubbing of the normal skin there is thickened epidermis, hyperkeratosis and dermal fibrosis and in this uh, condition the stratum corneum is about threefold or thrice of the normal thickness of the skin. Then in ichthyosis, this stratum corneum is also thickened and it is about five times of the normal, but it is present on a thin nucleated epidermis that distinguishes this lesion from other diseases. The lamellar variety of the ichthyosis is uh, an autosomal recessive congenital disorder of cornification. It is characterized by severe and generalized ichthyosis and there, as a result there is increased cohesiveness of the stratum cornea that is accompanied by numerous keratinosomes and large amount of intercellular substance. The involved mutation gen genes is TGM1 gene that uh, encodes transglutaminase this gene is located on the long arm of chromosome number 14 and when this is mutated this is no longer this is not going to uh, form transglutaminase now indeed it will result in the defective lamellar body secretion that will result in the lamellar ichthyosis thank you very much